Hello everyone and welcome to my channel Zen Within Me. Okay, today's reading is going to be a love reading for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising. Okay, so without further ado, let's get into it. Guides, guardians, ancestors, and angels, please give me clear and concise messages for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising regarding their love life. What messages do you have for Cancer regarding their love life at this time? What is their focus? What do they need to know? Please continue to protect us, watch over us, and guide us always. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, what messages do we have for Cancer? Okay, Queen of Swords. Someone may be dealing with an air sign person, Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius. You may also be um, taking the energy of the air sign by being very outspoken and bold truthful to the point like no bullshit okay or you may be dealing with someone that has those characteristics if they are not an air sign it could also be air in your chart or their chart okay okay five of swords here and one more card please No? Okay. Okay, so someone here is feeling defeated or someone is either feeling defeated or is doing something dishonorable, I'm getting. It's like not being dishonest, maybe has some some hidden agenda. So if you feel someone that you're dealing with is not being honest, that they have like a hidden agenda, you are going to be very outspoken about it. Okay. Or you may be feeling defeated from this person that you're dealing with for some reason. So let's get some cards here. Okay. So keep those uh, scenarios in mind for whatever resonates with you. And I'm just going to be relaying messages throughout. Okay, what are the messages do we have for cancer? All right. I'm getting shits popping off. That's the message that's coming through. Spiritual awakening. All right, so something is coming to someone's attention here. Whatever is, this hidden agenda is, this deceit, this person being dishonorable, it's coming to light, and that could be you sounding off. Okay. The card that flew over here is forgiveness. So someone's definitely maybe seeking some forgiveness here if, if you feel that you've been defeated by this person. They're going to be asking for your forgiveness. Or you asking for forgiveness if you're the one on the strong end here. Last shuffle, any other messages for Cancer? Okay, creativity. I'm also getting uh, sexual energy from this. I'm seeing like lots of fire. This is for, This is like... I'm seeing this now and it's like in the womb, okay? So this could have to do with something sexual, but that may be a reason why there is um, forgiveness is necessary here or this is the deceit or hidden agenda. Maybe somebody was just trying to like get in your pants and when you caught wind of that, you were like, uh, no, I don't think so. Or somebody cheated. However, this resonates with you, okay? So I'm going to go to the Love Oracle deck. Let's see, what's going on here with Cancer, please? Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, regarding their love life. Please clarify the Queen of Swords and the Five of Swords here for Cancer. What's going on? What's going on and what will the outcome be? Please give us some messages for Cancer. Mm, silence. Okay, so we have here paradise, happiness, expansion, joy, playfulness, oneness, enjoying each other. All right, so this is somebody fooling around. Okay. And lightning, sudden change, shocking news, surprise, epiphany, upheaval, transformation. So yeah, with um, spiritual awakening, like I said, somebody's going to get this shocking news that somebody's been playing around with somebody. Somebody's screwing around. Like I said here, this I'm getting that sexual energy. Okay, any other messages for other cancers regarding this love reading? All right, we got some more cards that came out here. Palm tree, stability, security, permanence, growth, endurance, and flexibility. Okay. 
Coffee cup, meeting and conversing, savoring the moment, feeling uplifted, friendship. And then we have the butterfly, relationship evolving to the next phase, healing the inner child and growth. Okay, so for some of you, you're going to get together, you're going to talk with this person, however it resonates with you, with forgiveness here. I do see forgiveness coming in because we have the relationship evolving to the next phase, healing, growth, um, growth again here with palm trees. So meeting and conversing, you guys are going to get together and talk. Okay, the, you, you are going to try and heal the relationship because I do feel for some of you there's an issue of stability and security. So for those of you that are maybe in a relationship and you have a family or you live together, the issue of security and stability is uh, a big deal here. So it, it's like when we're not in the, in the position to have anybody move out, so we're going to have to try and mend this to make things work. Okay, so let's see what other messages do we have here. Some of the messages do we have for cancer? Okay, empathy. Thank you. Empathy. You feel and understand the emotions of another in the service of love. So you're going to be very empathetic here with what is going on in some of your situations. Okay, maybe not everybody, but depending on what's going on here, you may be able to understand. Maybe you can even relate in a way. Okay, what other messages do we have for Cancer regarding this love reading, please? Okay, thank you. A new start is coming, new moon. Okay, yep, yeah, makes sense because we have here uh relationship evolving to the next phase so there will be a new start that comes from this for some of you by the next new moon and you are good enough full moon in virgo some of you may be dealing with a virgo and whatever it is that you may be feeling defeated about you maybe you feel you're not good enough for whatever reason and this person may tell you like no you are good enough okay so that's we have the new moon a new start is coming and full moon in Virgo, or it could be the next full moon. You are good enough that that may come into play. Okay, let's get some. Actually, you know what? I want to see what's going on with your chakras. Okay, what is going on with Cancer chakras, please? Regarding their love life at this time. What's going on here? Connection, okay, and this is with your heart chakra, universal oneness, love, interconnection, and support. So for those of you that may be feeling defeated, it could also be self-defeat for whatever it is that you're dealing with. And you're getting a lot of support from this person. And this forgiveness that you may need to give may, need, may be for yourself, okay? A lot of people watching, everybody is in a different place. Okay, so what other messages do we have for cancer? Saturn. The part of you that accepts challenge to gain wisdom. Okay, last shuffle. Any other messages for cancer? Thank you. Okay, so we have Libra. So someone may be dealing with a Libra. You may have Libra in your chart. This energy is diplomatic and gracious. It seeks harmony and balance in relationships. So see here with connection, interconnection, support. So whatever it is that you may be battling here, you do have love and support around you. And then we have Gemini. You may also be dealing with the Gemini or have it in your chart. The energy is communicative, mischievous, lively, witty, and informative. Stimulating exchange is possible. 
So for those of you that are having the spiritual awakening and you're getting all this information, there may be a, a Gemini involved here, like I said. Okay. So that is all I have for you guys. Thank you so much for watching, sharing, liking, and subscribing. Peace and love. I will see you in the next reading.